Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? All right guys, so today in this video, I wanna show you guys how to download or transfer your photos and videos into the SanDisk iExpand Lux, okay? So it's not the iExpand Go, but it is called the iExpand Lux, which has the USB-C N to it, okay? So let me show you what I mean. So the last video that I did was on this right here, the iExpand Go, which has the lightning port, okay, or the lightning plug on the iPhone, uh, iPhone 14 and below, or older. But now they just came out an iPhone 15. And the 15, as you guys already know, doesn't use this lightning um, connector here. It uses a USB-C. Here, let me show you guys real quick. So in my hand right now, it is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, okay? No more lightning connector. It is using a USB-C, just like an Android phone. Okay, so you cannot use you cannot use the uh, the iExpand Go anymore because it doesn't have that uh, the USB-C plug, right? So what you guys are gonna have to do is buy this other one. It is called the same brand, okay? It's called it's SanDisk. Also an iExpand, instead of Go, it's called the Lux. So it's the iExpand Lux. So what does the iExpand Lux, different from the other one, is that it has the USB, the USB, plug right there you guys see that okay so that means it can work with the iPhone 15 now and also your other units that uses the uh, USB-C like for instance my iPad actually uses uh, this plug as well right here okay and you're gonna be using this plug instead of this one okay but if it's gonna be your first time ever buying one of these, I would recommend just buying this one because this one actually does have the U uh, the lightning as well. So you guys see that? So two in one, two in one unit. You got the lightning and you got the USB-C. If you buy this one, you're saving money so you don't have to buy two units, okay? I bought the other unit because last time I had the iPhone 14, you know, and 13 and 12, 11, and all that, they use a lightning. How would I know that the 15 was going to be a USB-C, right? But the good thing was I actually bought this before the iPhone 15 came out because I was also using this plug right here for my iPad. So the iPad already uses the USB-C, so that's why it works for me. But if you guys are first-time buyers... I would recommend just buy the Lux, so that way it has two ends, okay? Just in case if you guys have an iPhone, an older iPhone, or the iPhone 15. And the good thing is, if you have an Android phone, or any other devices that uses a USB-C, okay? In order to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone 15, 15 Pro, Pro Max, and all that, or even the Plus, you gotta buy the Sandis iX Band Lux. All right, so I keep repeating it because I don't want you, I don't want you guys to buy the wrong one. Okay, so uh, if you guys are watching this video, I'm repeating it many times, so you know you don't buy the wrong one. Okay, and it looks like that. It has two ends. All right, and if you guys watch my uh, video on how to use this one right here, the iX Band. Uh, Go on the uh, iPhone 14, 13, 12, or whatnot that uses this lightning cable. If you guys haven't watched that, and if you guys own the you know the older version of the iPhone, go watch that video. I will put a link uh, on that video as well. Okay, and it's pretty. The other video, or or if you're using this one for your older phone, it's actually very straightforward. You just gotta plug it in, okay, and then it pops up, and you basically just just follow the prompt and just. Um, transfer your videos and photos okay but if you guys don't know how to do it watch my video but for this one right here is a little bit tricky it's a little bit tricky okay for the other one you got to download the app right which is this one right here it's called the iExpand 
drive. But uh, for the iPhone 15, you don't need to download the app at all. You're going to be using the Apple built-in file app. Okay, so I was really frustrated. I plugged in this unit and it doesn't respond or anything like that. And I was doing some research. I went on to uh, their website and I read a little bit about it and I figured it out that you have to use the Apple file. Okay, the, the phone, you know, your Apple phone has a, a file app that you're going to go in there and then you can actually use it because if you actually just plug it in, it doesn't respond at all. I'll show you. Okay, so it's plugged in already. No response, doesn't respond at all. Normally, if we plug in into an iPhone 14, there's a respond right away. So let me show you. I have an iPhone 14 right next to me. And then I'm going to use this one right here. Because I already have the app installed. All you got to do is just plug it in. And then it should respond. You see that? Respond right away. And all I got to do is press allowed. And then... Now I can transfer my photos and videos. But why is the iPhone 15 not working? It doesn't respond at all. It's because it doesn't depend on the app, okay? the uh, This app right here, the iXband Drive app. I'm talking a little bit long here because I want you guys to understand um, why it's not working, okay? So I, like I said, I went onto the website I went into their website, I read about it, and they said the only way to do it is to use the Apple file instead. Okay, so let me do it right now so you guys know. Do it step by step. All right, you want to go to photos, and you want to pick the photos that you want to transfer to this unit right here, okay? The, the, the Lux unit right here, okay? It's going to be a little bit complicated, so pay attention, guys. I'm going a little slow, and I'm repeating myself many times, like I said earlier, because I want you guys to get it, all right? So, for instance, we're going to go ahead and we want to transfer the, the video and a couple pictures, okay? We're going to go ahead and press select, and then we're going to select the picture that we want, okay? So, this is a totally different way of doing it versus the iPhone 14 and older version using the lightning lightning cable or the lightning adapter, okay? This is using the USB type C, so it's different. All right, so once you select the pictures, you're going to go down here. You see where it says the, the share on the um, left bottom? We're going to go ahead and tap on that. And then once you tap on that, you want to scroll all the way down where you're going to see it says file right here. Okay, let me use this. It says file, save to files. What we're going to do is tap save to files. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back out to, because normally it'll, it'll go to this page. So just go back out to, you see where it says untitled here on top? Just go back out. And then we'll go back out again to browse. I mean, you only have to do that if your phone is on that section of the screen. Otherwise, go back out where you see all this right here. You're going to see it says Cloud Drive I on my iPhone, Untitled. The Untitled is where we're going to focus on. Untitled is basically, it's this unit right here, okay? But it, it's not named. It's not named. Unless yours is named, send this. But mine is not named, so it's going to say Untitled right here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and um, select that untitled. And when you go to this screen right here, this is where you want to save it, okay? I've already done one testing saving, so that way I, I know where it is. This time I'm going to do another one, so that way you guys know how to name your photo, uh, your folder. So if you guys want to name the folder, you guys go here. You see the three dots on the top right here? Tap on that and just name or make a new photo, uh, folder. I keep saying photo. Um, make a new folder and then just name the new folder to, because I did one earlier. I put testing. Now I'm just going to put, uh, I'm just going to put new, okay? Or I'm just going to put uh, YouTube. 
so that way we we can distinguish the uh, the folder uh, the folders here and I just press done okay so once you create that folder it's gonna say YouTube right right next to it to the right side you're gonna see it says save once you press save those three photo uh, photos and videos that we wanted to send over to the the unit the Lux unit is gonna be saved into this folder okay so let me go ahead and press save and then there it is so it stopped it transferred to the the Lux unit already so it is there already okay so how do you know if it's there so that's the tricky part is this unit the Lux unit is a little different from the go unit okay because the iPhone 15 uh, is doing it a different way it's not really using the iExpand app it's just using the Apple file app you know the Apple file that's included into your inside your phone already you know you don't need to download the app unless later on they're gonna they're gonna come out with another I expand you know go that you don't that you would need to download the app okay but this one they say you don't need to download the app you just use the uh, built-in Apple file okay so anyways with that being said let's uh let's go out and then you want to go to you want to you want to make sure or if you want to double check to see if your file is there all you got to do is just find your file folder right my file folder is right here okay I kind of hit it in here so I'll press file and then you see where it says right here untitled that's that's the same name of the unit here okay the uh, the Lux unit here so we're gonna go back to that same file un untitled and then once you go to untitled you're gonna see remember the folder that we made earlier it says uh, YouTube right now all we gotta do is tap on YouTube and there you go guys the three picture that we saved onto the iXpand Lux okay and I actually forgot to mention to you guys what is the purpose of this you know iXpand Go iXpand Lux is basically if you guys take a lot of videos a lot of pictures and you're running out of space on your iPhone or on your other devices or whatnot you can actually transfer those photos and videos onto the small really convenient unit here so that way you can save it in this unit and then you can delete it from your phone so you're gonna have more space okay so if you guys have problems like me taking a lot of videos and picture you're gonna run out of space so this unit right here is very convenient as you guys can see it's really small right it's not that big bring it around and then you can just transfer photos and videos right away it's giving you up some space Okay, so that's how you transfer videos and photos from your iPhone to this uh, to the Lux unit from the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, Pro, Pro Max. And uh, to double check, you just do the same way I told you. Go to um, the Files and then go to Untitled. Unless yours says something else, but mine says Untitled. And um, you can see that you saved it on the YouTube, um, that we saved it on the YouTube file. And if you also want to double check just to make sure you can actually unplug this right and then you can use this end and just plug it into your computer or laptop that uses the USB-C and then you should be able to see the files the videos and picture that you just um, saved to this unit okay so that's it guys that is how you use or how you download a videos and picture from your iPhone 15 Pro Plus Pro Pro Max into the uh, Sandis iExpand Lux. Okay, so you gotta buy the Lux for you to have the USB C N. And if you have the older iPhone, you got the Lightning N. Okay, so if you guys have never bought one of these, I would just recommend buying the Lux, uh, like I mentioned, so that way you don't waste money buying two units. Because if you buy this by itself uh, versus buying this one, they're both almost the same price, okay? I would just buy this so that way you have multiple use. You can use for your iPhone, old iPhone, new iPhone, iPad, and also Android phone as well or other devices that uses the USB-C. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. 
And if you guys uh, haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Okay, guys, it doesn't cost you a penny, but it helps out my channel greatly. And I really appreciate you all. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.